everyone welcome back in this session we would learn how to solve the practice problem implement stack using array so let's start by understanding the question basically what is a stack let's start from there so basically a stack is something like this okay it is a kind of box in which we keep on adding elements when we add elements in a stack it is known as push and whenever we remove an element from stack it is known as pop okay now remember stack is a leafo okay leafo means last in last in first out okay that means whichever element entered the stack last would be the element that would come out first okay that is last in first out and we need to implement this thing using arrays so basically for pushing an element i would be using the append method and for you know popping the element i would just use the pop method okay now remember one thing i cannot pop anything from a stack if the stack is already empty right so basically i need to check if stack is empty then i would return with minus 1 okay otherwise i can just return with the popped out value right i hope the concept is clear to you now let's move forward okay what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal you need to choose difficulty as basic then you need to find the problem implement stack using array once you find the problem you need to click on solve okay one minute okay here is the question let's read it write a program to implement a stack using array your task is to use the class as shown in the comments in the code editor and complete the function push and pop to implement a stack okay so basically i need to code for push function over here and for the code fun uh, pop function over here okay so let's solve it okay it's a very easy question let's quickly solve it first let's complete for push right self dot array dot append what do i need to append i need to append data okay this is for push function over here first i need to check if it is empty or not right so if length of array if length of array is equal equal to 0 that means it's empty then i need to return with minus 1 okay else else if it is not true then what then i need to return with what i need to return with self dot array dot pop okay now i need to check if it is correct or not so i would click on compile and run let's wait okay compilation is completed my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the given problem okay so let's wait problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem implement stack using array i hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining me today thank you